Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA. Hi out there, you're watching Quilty and this week on the show we have special guest Linda Rainwater. Welcome back. Thank you, Mary. Thanks for having me. You know, we go together. We Birds do. of a feather. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> um, and you have come in to uh, talk to us about machine quilting. Absolutely. We have this new, it's like the Quilty set had a baby. <laughs> a big baby. <laughs> and if this is a mid-arm quilting machine, can you tell me, what it, what is that? Sure. I, I think that most people are familiar with their standard sewing machine, which has a needle here, mm -hmm. and the side of the machine is here, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're relegated to sewing within that area. Well, what happens on a mid-arm machine is that it's turned so that the that the front part, the needle part's in front of you, and now you've got all this open space. And this machine has 16 inches between the needle and this part, and so that makes it a mid-arm machine. Because there are machines that get a whole lot bigger. Right, like a long arm. And the, diff the main difference between S quilting on this machine and a long arm machine is moving the quilt, right? Absolutely. Tell me what, what that means. Okay, so the, the analogy that I love to use is that when we all write, we write with a pen on a piece of paper. And so basically, you're your sewing machine, okay? You're the machine. You're moving the machine. So that's why it's so natural for people to walk up to a long arm machine on a frame and become really good at it. But not everybody has a budget or the size of a room in order to be able to accommodate that kind of a machine. Mm -hmm. And so what ends up happening is, is you have to learn that you need to move basically the paper. Right, and, and that's so what you do on the midarm. You're moving the paper rather than moving the pen. Right, absolutely. So it's a little bit of a mind shift, but actually you can get very, very proficient if you've got the right setup. And this is ideal because I've got a huge surface, mm -hmm. it's completely flat, and I can see the entire area that I want to quilt pretty much in front of me. So you can accommodate any size of quilt. Absolutely. And it's a, and when you're doing free motion quilting, uh, and many people do that on their domestic machines. They do it on their right. home machine with a stippling foot and all that. You're doing the same thing. You're moving the paper around, but this is the best way to do it because of that room. And sometimes the term is the apron of your machine, right? Right, this is a right. Very or the big, harp. Sometimes people harp. call it the harp. Oh. <laughs> Musical instruments. <laughs> Musical instruments, aprons, whatever. Um, so the first lesson, uh, we're going to talk about getting started, how to get started quilting. Um, but the main, the first thing, first things first, take the pretty patchwork away. Yes. Take it away. This beautiful thing that you made, don't work on that first. You need to practice. We all have to practice getting better at things. And so rather than work on your awesome pillow that you're about to quilt and, you know, this Practice on this. Make yourself some quilt sandwiches that you don't care about with some batting scraps and practice on this, right? That's a great piece of advice. I think we all want to get to the fun part, yeah. which is finishing it. You want to rush through it. Don't rush. Don't do Take it. Take your time. Plan it out and do it the right way. So I think one of the things I wanted to just talk about a little bit was how to appropriately begin so that you've locked your threads. Great. Let's okay. Do it. And so normally on your sewing machine, you would rotate your hand wheel one hand towards you mm -hmm. and you'd pick up your thread, but I can't reach the back of my right. machine on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my button here and I'm going to touch my needle down and then back up. So before you get started, free motion quilting, what you have to do is you have to pull your threads up so that you have them both in your hand. And then what you'll do is you'll take a couple little stitches in the exact same place that you started off in. Why do you do that? Well, because it locks your stitches, right? Cool. And so normally how when you start sewing a garment or even if you're doing some piecing, you'll take a few stitches forward and back or lock your stitches in place. That's so that they don't come out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't want to do all the stitching and all of a sudden have it come apart yes. while you're using the product, right? Tears, tears. Tears, tears. So I'm going to take a couple stitches and then I'm going to cut my thread. And then I'll be able to start free motion quilting. Fire that up. I okay, so see Mary it. wants to see it. So, I do. Okay, so um, I, actually, I have one of these. So I've, I've done this, but I'm playing. I'm playing student. Right. So one of the things that I like to do is tell people to relax a little bit. So this is where sometimes if you want to have a little glass of wine. Oh, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If you want to have a little glass of wine, or put on the music that you like, but just relax and just try not to think about the fact that somebody like Mary Fonz <laughs> is staring at you while oh, you're God. free motion quilting. So um, you have to move your fabric in timing with your machine. So this takes practice. 
practice. Yes. So depending upon how fast you sew, it's gonna have an impact on your stitches and the length. So here okay. we go. She's moving the paper. I'm moving the paper. And notice that I'm holding it square to my table, right? Yep, right. And as I go faster, I can move my fabric faster. Now, if I move my fabric really slow, mm -hmm and I'm sewing really fast, I'm gonna end up with this real big jumbled knotty mess, yeah. right? And the opposite is true. Yes. If I move my fabric really fast and I'm sewing slow, I could chance to break a needle, mm -hmm. number one, because I'll be tugging. Yeah. And the other thing that happens is your stitches get really long. Yes, and you can come unthreaded too, and that gets real frustrating. Right. Um, but there are things that can help you. Yeah. You can use a frame that helps you move your right. fabric around, or you can have those little gloves. Those yeah, little, I know, love them. I love the little gloves that you yeah. can put on because they're kind of grippy, because what happens is a lot of times you have a tendency to want to push really hard yeah. just to hold it down to move it, and it's counterintuitive. Our, so our culture like many no, of us? No, 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 none, no, no, not none. at all. <laughs> we don't, we're not tense at all. Yeah, we get a little hung up on stuff like that. So yeah. having something like this is nice because what it does is it holds your fabric flat. Yeah. And now you can actually practice. And I like to tell people when you first get started, write your name. Yeah. Because you know how to do that, right? Everybody knows how, if you don't know how to write your name, you, you probably you shouldn't trouble. be in front of a sewing machine. <laughs> probably right? not. But Start with your name on paper and then move to this. Then move to that, right, there's absolutely. Some, there's something else that really helps keep your stitch nice and neat, and that's the regulator. Yeah, there, there, there is a little thing out there called stitch regulation, mm -hmm. okay? And what does that mean? Well, what it means is that it's regulating your stitches so that they're exactly the same length all the time. Now, there's some caveats, okay? For there's sure. some things that you have to follow in order to make that be true and real. So um, you have to, with stitch regulation, make sure that you're moving your fabric in a uh, speed that it's going to allow the functionality of stitch regulation to perform. Okay. What that means is that if I have my machine set to deliver 12 stitches per inch, because you can define how you want it to stitch, okay. if you have it set for 12 stitches per inch, but you're moving it super fast, your machine is regulated by the amount of stitches per minute it can sew. Right. And so if it does it too quickly, what ends up confused. happening is not going to be regulated right. anymore. So you got to follow the rules, right? It gets confused, yes. Right, and you have to follow the rules. Absolutely. When we say regulation, and, and Linda's saying it's the same stitch always, it means that, aside from that <laughs> caveat, that if you move however fast or slow you're moving within this parameter, it will keep your stitch the same length. To, I mean, no matter how you sort of right. move it. I mean, that that's right. what we mean, is in relation to you, it keeps it steady and even. It keeps it consistent. And yeah. so a lot of people are looking for that. You know, we are awful. When we make things for ourselves, right, what is the first thing you do? You point out the mistake you made to Always. every person. And so, you know, believe me, when you get done with the quilt, you're not going to see a couple little stitches. But for those of you who are doing tiny pieces yeah. or you're doing some contrasting thread on a light mm -hmm. background, mm -hmm. you're going to see the stitches and you might really like the comfort of having a stitch regulator. Absolutely. And if you're going for a show quilt, something you're going to enter into a contest or you're making it for someone else for sale, some those things become very important because you do. want your workmanship to be flawless. Um, okay, and the, by the way, the regulator, uh, the stitch yeah. regulator is Bluetooth. That's, it is Bluetooth. That's yeah. the technology. So can I talk a little bit yeah, about it? it? Okay, the way that it works. So so I have um, my stitch regulating, my true stitch on the, my machine, and it's actually got my foot controllers plugged into it. And so what I have then is a little controller, and I've got this guy charged up. And what happens is, is that as this, and I'm going to go ahead and it's turned mm -hmm. on. So what happens is as it moves in tandem with me, it is going to deliver a regulated stitch, okay? And so I'm gonna put my machine on a regulated mode, mm -hmm. and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set how many stitches per inch, and it's already set for 11. Okay. And so what my key is, and I'll tell you what, this is kind of fun, because this has oh, cool. a little piece on here that it actually holds it in place. So now I can still oh, use cool. the comfort of having my, um, my uh, little frame here, my little true grip, but I can also have it. So listen to how different my machine sounds, okay? Yep. Because what it's doing is it's delivering that certain amount of stitches per inch that I've defined. Now if you went a little bit faster. Right, well what I'm gonna do is I wanna slide this guy, mm -hmm. I'll slide him towards me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so if I go faster, mm -hmm. we gotta put the magnet on there. Okay, so if I move faster. Yep, it's keeping it. Keeping right. it even, even if you go faster, right? Right. Same but it stitch can, line. Yeah, but it can, I can go too fast, yeah. right? So within reason, but, but stitch regulation is a nice, 
tool, nice addition to your quilting if you really want to kick it up a notch. Yeah, and this is a great way to do that. I don't have room for a long arm in my condo, so something like this is really great for me, and I've, I've quilted many quilts on it. It's pretty great. Absolutely. Um, Linda, thanks for coming by. This You're is welcome. a great like primer into this machine, and we'll be Absolutely. talking more about it. And thanks. You're welcome. See you next time. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurifil, Aurifil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovels Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA.